Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching Siri Winner's video series on binary search interview series and this video is about finding the kth ancestor of a node in a binary tree. So if your tree is like this, then the kth ancestor, you know ancestor meaning the parents, like if you are looking for the kth ancestor for this guy, then the k can be either 1, 2 or 3. So if you are saying k2, meaning you want this ancestor this 2 is not equal to this 2 you're saying kth ancestor okay so if you're saying i want one i mean first kth ancestor then the answer is 5 for this 8 and for 7 if k is equal to 1 then the answer is 4 if k is equal to 2 answer is this and if k is equal to 3 then the answer is this meaning third ancestor for 7 is this is your first ancestor, second ancestor and third ancestor. So third ancestor for seven is fourth. So I mean one. If you are saying I want k is equal to four for this seven, then fourth ancestor doesn't exist, right? Then in that case, you have to return minus one. Otherwise, you have to return the respective value or just print it. And let's assume I have this value is equal to 10 and k is equal to maybe 2. So first of all you have to think if this is binary tree which order traversal you will go for. So we have three different levels of traversal right. One is pre-order, another one is in order and third one is post order. So now the question is out of these which one to pick. It actually is a hidden inside your problem itself. So how it is hidden in your problem itself? See, we are looking for this number 10. If we find this number 10, then only we want to go back until unless you find this, there is no point, right? So first of all, you have to find this and the moment you find it, you don't have to go further. Actually, I'm looking for this 10, which is the last one. So if we are talking about this guy, let's suppose we are not looking for 10 we are looking for 7 then in that case see you come here here and here but now you found it so do you want to go further like from here to here and then here to here no there is no point if you found this element then what you have to do is you have to go back and see which ancestor you are looking for now you will not traverse any further here there there is no point right so this clearly tells the moment you hit any node, you have to take the decision. So if you are taking decision at hitting some value or hitting at node, then in that case, you will go for pre-order traversal because pre meaning first you will do the operation itself. Then only you will go for the traversal. And if you found something, what you was looking for, then you will not go and do the traversal. So here what we see, we need pre-order traversal because the moment we hit any node, the moment any recursive call is happening and we are just reaching to a recursive call, that time only I want to take the decision. So this is very clear that you will use pre-order traversal. And along with that, as I told you, if you found the node, then you will not go for any other recursion, right? Then you have to keep recursion in our case, like if you find this node, then you will not go for any recursion. You just have to return, keep returning, keep returning. You will not go for any recursion after that. And K is 2, right? So let's suppose you hit this number. We were looking for 7, not for 10. Okay. So, and I'm looking for third ancestor, which is this one. So I reach to this guy. Is this my number? 7? No, it is not. I'll go next. Is this my number? No, it is not. I'll go next. Is this my number? No, it is not. I'll go next. Is this my number? Yes, this is my number. Then what I'll do, I'll check if k is equal to equal to 0. No, it is not. Because if k is equal to 0, then you are looking for this guy number only. Because see, this is your first ancestor, second ancestor and third ancestor, right? Then the zeroth ancestor is itself only. So you can put 0 also. So you will check here. Is this 0? No, it is not. You will go back here and decrement this k count. So now you will make this as 2. 
so and here also you will check is this zero no it is not you will go back here and decrement one more count to this k is this zero here no it is not you will go here and then decrement one more count here so the moment you are reaching here this k is equal to zero and you have to check is k is equal to zero yes meaning i was looking for this number only okay and let's suppose if this is not the case i was looking for fourth ancestor which doesn't exist then here you would have received one meaning this is not your number and you would go from here to the caller function but still you did not find the kth ancestor so in that case you have to print minus one very easy right you have to search the number and if you happen to find you can find it very easily and the moment you are going back that is the whole logic now you have to return and while returning you have to keep decrementing this k and check if this k is equal to zero at each level and if you find k is equal to zero then that means you was looking for that particular node itself let's quickly see the code for this so this is your main function which you will call with root and the value so for us value let's suppose you are passing seven and k ancestor of seven is three so if you see three meaning this is your first ancestor second ancestor and third ancestor so you want to print one okay and this is your value so we are pushing seven and k as three let's see how we'll do this i'm calling this helper function which will do the job for me so we have seven and three and root is one this is your basic terminating condition we'll use this return value rv return value to track that whether i have already found that number what i was looking for and if yes then i will not go for any recursion see how i am doing this i have this if condition first of all i told you right this is pre or traversal so first of all i will check whether my value is equal to the roots data so this is the roots data and my value is 7 so this is not correct so then only i will go for either left or right recursion see so it is pre order i am doing my operation the main operation which is to find that number before going any further left or right so that's why it is pre order and i will go only if i do not find this if it is true then see this is or conditions and i will not go inside this or condition i will directly enter into this if statement if boundary so this is how you will model it and see you will call left and you will check did your left return any value if it did then you will not go for any right or further and the same thing you will do for your right also you will see did your right returned anything and if it did meaning you have found your value you don't have to go for any further recursion that's why we are using this return value to simulate that i have already found my value i don't want to go for any other recursive call i will just keep returning by checking if this k is equal to equal to 0 in any stack so this is your one stack this is another stack another stack and this is the last stack so let's assume let me erase this yeah so let's assume this is the first call root data is 1 and value is 7 this is not equal what we'll do we'll go for this helper roots left so basically you will go here and the same thing you will do again here because this is not going to happen here and yeah instead of 0 you will return null from here null because we have this node pointer so return null here and now this time you got 2 here but 2 is also not equal to equal to value so you will send yourself here and similarly here and the moment you are reaching here you will find that roots data which is this 7 is equal to equal to value which is this 7 okay if this is true then see now this is or condition right you will not go inside these or condition you will directly come inside because this value i mean condition is true so you will come inside you will check k is equal to equal to 0 no currently k is 3 and see i have used this reference variables so that these variables will not get created on each and every stack if we don't use these reference variables then these variables value and k will get created whenever you go for any other stacks okay so this is like 
a global variable for this function or a static variable you can think so they are like common between all the stacks whatever stacks we got created here so as i told k is 3 and we are equating with 0 it is not true what we will do we will make k minus minus and return from here and see if your return value is there then you will return return value otherwise you will return your root itself and this returning is very important because now further when you return from here to here you do not want to go for any calls let's suppose there was this another node here maybe 100 you do not want to go to this location now because you have already found this so how you will simulate that with the help of this return value so that's why you have to return a non-null value so we'll check if we have return value then we'll return that otherwise we'll return the root itself saying that I have found it so we'll return 7 from here so you will receive 7 here meaning this is like a 7 now so we did found something right so this is going to get true so we have three statement this or this or this so now this is true so we'll not go here we'll just directly come inside this and we'll check if k is equal to equal to 0 no k is actually 2 now because we decremented this k in previous stack right so now k will be 2 instead of this I can update here okay k is 2 now but k is 2 we are looking for 0 no it is not then we'll again return with minus minus so k will become 1 now and this time we have return value so return value is 7 itself so we'll return 7 from here and this 7 will return to this guy now and similarly you will again get 7 here because of the stack and again this is true condition so you will come inside this and see k is equal to equal to 0 no k is 1 actually so you will not print answer you will again decrement it and return your return value so return value you got as 7 you will again return that you will return that here but you decremented this minus k before that so now this k is 0 so you received again here 7 and this is again true because you did found something so you will again come inside this and this time you got this k is equal to equal to 0 yes k is equal to equal to 0 then what you will do you will say print answer is my roots data so currently root is your this node which is 1 so answer is 1 and we were looking for this only right and now here you will return null because you have found it so now if you will return null you will receive null here and if this is null you will not print this minus 1 otherwise what would have happened let's suppose you have given 4 here not 3 4 then here also you would have had your k is equal to 1 so if k was equal to 1 at this location also what we would have done we would have returned from here also and we would have reached this place and this guy must be holding some value meaning our 7 itself because we are returning 7 7 7 so here it will receive 7 and if we receive something it means we did not found our value so we will print minus 1 so this is how you will solve this problem these these are the problems which gives you so much of energy and boost if you understand them because it clears your doubt about recursion calls and the pre-order post order and in order calls and why you should choose one over another so this is one of those questions if you solve gives you so much of confidence so i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button guys it helps me a lot thanks for watching bye bye take care i'll see you in the next videos